Let's talk about making a super quick eyeball in Blender. How easy can it be? Well, first of all, we'll make it and then we will rig it. Start it off with not a cube. Get rid of that dude. Shift A and let's make a sphere, a UV sphere, in fact. Let's rotate 90 degrees and on the X axis. That'd be perfect. Let's go tab into the edit mode. Let's get rid of that. Let's select what we want. With the circle C on the keyboard is the shortcut. If you miss, that's okay. Hit the middle click button to get rid of that. Now I'm going to go to the materials. Let's make a fresh one new, first of all. And then that's for the uh, main eyeball. But let's make a new one. And that's going to be the pupil. How perfect. Let's assign that, huh? And then, let's get rid of that. Click the three. I'm going to do this circle. I'm using the middle mouse button to uh, make that selection smaller. Circle was the C button on the keyboard as the shortcut. I'm missing a lot, but that's okay. I'm going to use that middle mouse button again to deselect all that. Now I'm going to go back to the add for materials. I put use that plus button to add a new slot. That slot is going to be, I'm going to say green for the iris of the eyeball. I think that's what that's called, the outer side. Now you can see nothing has really changed because we are in the wrong mode. This is the viewport shading over here. We're looking at solid mode, and that's perfect for a lot of things you're trying to model so you can get a clear look at it, but we want to know what color it is. So we're going to change the view over here, and there it is. I'm going to go tab out of the edit mode, and I'm going to go to shading, and there's a perfectly good eye right there. What I'm going to do now is grab it with the G and grab it along the X axis and then I'm going to duplicate it right click I'm going to go to the end menu let's just put a minus right on the uh, right behind the X axis location and that's going to put it right on the other side just like a character might just be wasn't that perfect now let's talk a little bit about the rigging process. You know, while we're here, let's add, um, we want an empty, uh, let's see, where is it? Uh, it's right in front of me. I'm going to use a sphere. That sounds perfect. It's an eyeball, right? Um, this is optional, but I like to move mine all the way up there. Now, what we're going to do is go to this guy right here the physics property nope that's not it uh, it's the one right below it the object constraint constraint property that's what I want and I'm going to copy loc uh, rotation not location rotation and I am selecting the eyeball one of the eyeballs so I'm adding this modifier of or constraint it's added just like a modifier the constraint is added to the eyeball and I'm going to use the eyedropper on the empty object. And what's that do? It puts it right up there. But that's perfect. That's exactly what we want. Now I'm going to do the same thing with this guy. Copy rotation and I'm going to select that exact same thing and that's perfect, right? You know why? Now let's select this. Now, the location doesn't really matter. You can grab it and put it wherever you want. It's just a controller for when you rotate this, the eyeballs are now rotating. And this is perfect. You put these eyeballs inside of a character, and then you attach this, this object, this empty object. You can parent it to the object, keep transform, say this is the character, boom, it's walking around. You can do the same thing with these eyeballs, obviously. Well, maybe not right now because this is attached to it, but you get the idea. Now, this can rotate. 
and the eyeballs look around according to how it rotates. Isn't that cheeky? I think it's perfect. Now you can make basic eyeballs inside of the blender. This has been a tutorial from Eric Polly. I am Eric Polly at erpolly.com. Uh, subscribing and liking this video helps me out quite a bit, so go ahead and do that and check out more videos at the ERPoly channel. Boom, baby.